Hey there, uh, welcome back. So, taking a look at last time, uh, some of the feedback I got was that uh, some of you would like to see it so that if we're making a match four, the type of bomb relates to what kind of swipe we made in order to create that bomb. So today, we're gonna alter our code just a little bit to make it less random and more of uh, what some people had wanted, which is um, what I'm here for. So, uh, let's get to it. So what I want to do here first is I want to take a look at my find matches script, which is where we're uh, generating the kind of bomb. And before, we were just picking a random integer and then essentially splitting it 50-50. Uh, if it was between 0 and 50, then we would do uh, one type. And if it was between 50 and uh, 99, then we do the other type. So let's take a look at making that less random. All right, so here we are in the find matches script. Uh, this is the check bombs method. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to comment out um, the code that I was using to decide what kind of bomb to make here. So I'm going to comment an area just by doing a slash and then an asterisk at the beginning of the area. And at the end of the area, I want to comment out an asterisk and a slash, just reversing it. So what I want to do is I want to know what kind of swipe um, was made in order to uh, create this match for. And in order to do that, um, we already have something in the dot class that allows us to know what kind of swipe it was. We have this swipe angle right here. So uh, all I have to do is really check to see what kind of swipe angle it was. So uh, let's cover the uh, left to right ones first. So I'm going to say if board dot current dot dot swipe angle is uh, let's do greater than negative 45 and board dot current dot dot swipe angle is less than or equal to positive 45 now this constitutes a right swipe if we're greater than negative 45 and less than positive 45 so this would be the right I also want to check to see if they were doing a left swipe so I'm going to encapsulate this little check here inside of its own set of parentheses. So I'm going to put parentheses around that. And uh, in order so I'm not writing a super, super long line, I'm just going to hit enter and continue my if statement down here. I also want to check to see if another condition was met. So this is the right swipe part. I want to check for the left swipe. So the left swipe is if board.current.swipe angle is less than negative 135 or board dot current dot dot swipe angle is greater than or equal to positive 135. So these are the conditions for the right, right swipe here uh, if it's this and this. These are the conditions for the left swipe which is this or this and then I'm combining them with an or statement. Ors are true if uh, one or both of these two things in parentheses are true. Um, so if that's true, then it's um, either a left swipe or a right swipe, which means we need to make a row bomb. So I'm just going to copy this make a row bomb code here. So copy and paste. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to check to see if it was an up or down swipe. So I'm going to say, um, actually, we don't necessarily need to do that. We can just say else because the only options are either it's left or right or it's up or down. So we'll do uh, board current dot make column bomb. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right there. And this should work if it's the piece that's moving into the match four. To do the piece um, moving out of the match four, then we need to uh, kind of do the same comment thing here. So I'm going to comment out my section here, and I'll end the comment down here. And then I'll kind of just, uh, I might as well just copy this logic. I just have to change a few things. So I'll copy that bit of code, and I'll paste it down here. Uh, only this time I don't want to do current dot. I want to do other dot. And I already have other dot assigned, so I'll do other dot. And then other dot. just to make my life easier I'm just gonna copy this other dot thing 
and then I uh, can just uh, paste and paste and I don't want to do I want to do other dot dot other dot <laughs> which is weird um, oh because I'm saving it as a game object I have to do other dot dot uh, get component uh, did I not have to do that up here was I not doing that before? Did I make a mistake? Um, other dot dot make row bomb. Yeah, that was a mistake right here. At least I think it is. Okay, well, let's copy this and we'll paste it down here. And instead of being make row bomb, let's do make column bomb. All right, so let's test this out. Uh, yeah, let's jump back to Unity and let it compile for a second. And then we're going to test to see if when we make a match for, if it creates the correct kind of bomb. So I'm going to hit play here. Uh, okay, pieces fall in, it's, things are super zoomed in. Uh, okay, cool, I have an opportunity right here to make a bomb. And so there we go, there's a column bomb like it should have been. Um, I have another opportunity here. Uh, let's check this way by doing that. Oh, nope. Okay. Variable of other dot has not been assigned. I want to pause this for a second. I'm looking at that purple dot right there. I probably had it right the other way, and I thought I did it wrong, and I didn't do it wrong. So I've got my... Yeah, I've got my other dot. Variable other dot of dot. So then it's, oh, that's why. Okay, no, I was I was doing it right yesterday. So I don't have to do this, um, this stuff. I can just do that. So let me erase all this stuff and we'll save. And we'll go back in here and we'll check it out one more time. So I'll hit play. My pieces, ugh, I keep doing that. I'll hit play and then I get impatient and I'll hit play again. So I'll hit play. My pieces will fall in. There we go. And let's see if I, okay, cool. I have an opportunity for a match four right here. So if I do that, sweet. It was the right kind of bomb. So I did have my code right. I don't know why I thought I didn't. Um, okay, yep, and that was the right kind of bomb. Wait, was this the right kind of bomb? I don't know. I might have to go back and check that. Let me play around a little bit more. I'm going to fast forward through this. Oh, okay. So anyway, here's the problem. So, okay. It has to do with my logic here, so I apologize for that. So when we're checking this thing um, up here, we're checking to see if it's the dot that we moved that made the match. And then down here, we're checking to see if it's the dot that we didn't move, the dot that we're switching with that made the match. And if this is the case, we said board uh, dot current dot dot other dot, if that's not null, then other dot is equal to that other dot, the one that is making the match, which is why I was wrong about my logic error down here. It's also why I'm wrong about this. So this shouldn't be other dot dot swipe angle. This should still be that board dot current dot stuff. So apologize if that doesn't make any sense, but let me just fix something here really quickly here. So we still want to know what the board's current dot swipe angle was because that's the thing that we moved. Here, um, it was checking to see if it was else. However, by default, that swipe angle is always going to be zero, which means it's always going to be making a row bomb, which is why it kept making a row bomb even when it should have made a column bomb. So this should be still other dot. And this should be still other dot. OK, so now let's test that out. Sorry about that error. OK, Unity's compiling. I'm going to be patient here this time and not click play twice. So we'll hit the play button. Pieces will slide in. All right, cool. Uh, OK, cool. So I have a match four right away. 
So if I swipe these two, I should get a row bomb because of the way I'm swiping. So there we go. Now let's see if we can get another match four here. I'm probably going to speed this up. Okay, so here's the other kind of match four. So if I swipe this up, this one should turn into a column bomb. And there we go. All right, cool. So that removes that element of randomness that a couple people requested that I remove. So there we go. Uh, the next thing that we need to talk about are the match fives. So uh, in Candy Crush, when you get a match five, you get a special piece that, when swapped with any piece, destroys all the pieces of that kind. So that's what we're going to need to take a look at next, and that'll be later this week. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, feel free to share this with anybody who likes it or who you think might like it. Um, and feel free to follow me on Twitter to know when my videos get posted. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.